Hello and welcome to the channel. In the previous video we've seen how to create a dynamic chart to show historic data for the closing price of euro against dollar for a period of time and we added two scroll bars here linked to these cells to scroll through the data set uh, and show a different period of data uh, and this other one is, is used to zoom in or zoom out the data so if we scroll all the way to the left it will show um, only 10 data points or 10 days because the data is daily and if we move towards the right it will show more more points more days of data and we did that by using the offset formula in the data range through a defined name uh, that we can see here the date and the price and this is a simplified version of the Excel Forex tester and I explained that already in the previous video there are several charts here and they are all dynamic and there's a lot of additional functionality using macros so in this video we will use macros to see what additional functionality we can add to this chart and I'm not gonna cover the basics of how to add a chart or format a chart if you want to know that you can go to my blog Excel macro class and here in the Excel VBA objects you can navigate to to the chart object or you can also get the Excel VBA objects guide for intermediate and learn more about the chart object and many other objects this guide uh, highlights 10 of the most important VBA objects and it has also a good introduction about the Excel object model and several other things so we're gonna do a few things one of the things we're gonna do is to change the axis for the price we don't have a label here but that's the price of euro against the dollar and as you see uh, when we move through the data set it does not always shows the whole um, data data span so to speak for example here we don't really see what's the difference um, so in order to to have the full view we're going to change the scale every time we scroll so to do that let's go to the visual basic editor and as always we're gonna add a module and the first macro will be uh, adjust axis for example and we're gonna adjust the vertical axis we could adjust also the the horizontal axis and the first thing we need to do here is to get the range of data that we are showing in the chart at that moment and for that we need the data start uh, variable as an integer and the data span hopefully it's not too confusing these two variables uh, that's an integer as well and then we're gonna get so the data start is the value in e2 if you remember from the previous video or we can just go back here so that's this value e2 the data start the point where we start uh, to show the data in the chart and the same for data span is going to be um, in E3. So now we're going to set the range of data that we're using, and that's going to be, let me declare here, current range as a range. So as that's a range, we're going to set the current range as the range between cells and we're gonna start the row index is data start and the column index is gonna be two the column two up to cells let me add another parenthesis data start plus data span comma column two so that's our current range um, that we are showing in the in the chart at that at that moment when we run in the macro yeah that's gonna change when we scroll now we're gonna get the minimum price using the worksheet function minimum from that current range and also the maximum price which is the worksheet function maximum uh, so the, the maximum worksheet function of the current range and here we need to declare these two as um, a single or a double because we need to have the decimals the price is with decimals we, we cannot have an integer here so let's declare it as a single and the max price also as a single 
And now we're going to format the axis to fit the whole data from the minimum to the maximum price value. And for that, we need to get the chart object. So sheet one chart objects. And here's the name of our chart, which is, let's go back to the sheet by default. Um, let me add the formula bar. So by default, it was chart one. We didn't change it. We can change it here if we, if we want. So I'm going to leave it as chart one. So we're going to have here chart one. And then with the chart axis, Excel value, and that's the vertical axis. Um, if we want to have the horizontal axis, that would be Excel category. We're going to change here the minimum scale, which is going to be our minimum price. And then I'm actually going to copy and paste the same because we're going to do the same for the maximum scale. So let me just change here maximum scale and that's going to be max price. And if everything's fine and I see worksheet function, that's OK now. And I see there's another mistake. That's not data star, that's data span in cell E3. So if we go back to the chart now and um, run the macro, you see we're going to change the scale here. Instead of starting at 0 up to 1.6, it will take the minimum and the maximum um, price. So you see now it fills the whole chart. But now every time we scroll and we move through the data, it's going to change. So what we need to do is to assign that macro to the scroll bar both that one and this one here. And now whenever we scroll, it actually fits the data to the whole chart. That's something we couldn't do before. We need, we need actually um, macros to do that. Also, if we zoom in or zoom out, it's going to fit everything in the chart. Another thing we can do with macros is to show or hide certain series. Now we only have one series, but let's add another series. Let's add, for example, the moving average for the last 20 um, periods. And, and that's just, if we come here, that's just the average of the last 20 values. Right, and if we double click here, it's going to fill the, the entire series. And now to add this to the dynamic chart, we need again to create um, a defined name with exactly the same formula that we've used before. Uh, let's call it SMA, so start standard moving average 20. And I'm going to copy here the formula, but now it's going to be column C. And now we just add a new series here. So add a new series. Let's call it SMA20. And here we're going to have sheet one SMA20. Now we have the standard moving average here, which it doesn't make a lot of sense when we have this view with when we zoom out, but it's more useful when we zoom in the values, right? Now we can choose to show or hide this series and any other series also using macros. So let me go back to the Visual Basic Editor and we're going to have here another macro. I will call it show hide SMA20. In this case, it's specifically for this series. Um, and for that, we need to activate the chart. So with chart objects, again, chart one activate and with active chart we're going to add a checkbox to show or hide the chart so let me come here and add um, a checkbox here that's going to be for the standard moving average 20 
and as you see the name of the checkbox is checkbox 3 and you can change that here actually I'm gonna put a checkbox 1 and then back here in the macro if sheet 1 dot checkboxes check box 1 exactly as it is written there the value is 1 so that means is checked then we are gonna show the series and we do that with full series collection so active chart dot full series collection there it is and this is the collection number two because we, we just have two series one is the price of the euro against dollar two is the standard moving average and we're going to have the format of the line for visible equals MSO true now else if the box if the checkbox is unchecked we're gonna do exactly the same but setting um, as you can probably imagine setting that series to or setting the visibility of that line of the that of, of the line of that series to false and here we end the if and we end the with statement here now we need to assign the macro to that checkbox so we do that and then when we tick the box it's gonna show it and when we uncheck it's gonna hide it so that's another thing we can do with macros and you can add as many checkboxes as, as you want to show different data